uh, this is the Sony XAV XA100. I'm gonna show you why I don't think I'll be keeping this guy. So, there's a lot of good things, but it also has some bad things, and $400 is cheaper than the other Android I've been using, but it's still 400 bucks or 400 bucks. So, obviously, I'm not started yet. Here's my key. I'm gonna show you just how long it takes to start this guy. So, I'm gonna use this stopwatch on my smartwatch. Samsung S3. Keys in. Uh, so, so, I started it same time you can see it's running so there's sony coming up at five seconds six seconds still on sony and this screen's still not really ready it's gonna beep twice get this a terrible screen veggies there's a double beep i'll be another double beep Yeah, there you go. So does that double beep twice for some reason, and you do that okay every single time. And there you go. Went on a little longer, but roughly 30 seconds, a little less than 30 seconds. So that wasn't super great of me there. Uh, but like I said, you do that every single time. So I'll try to be better at timing this time. So now I am going to turn my Jeep off. This stays on. It should do. Go the key out. Still stays off. I'm going to open the door. Now the screen goes off. Close the door. I'll get my guy ready here. Alright. I'm going to put my key in and start it up. Start my stopwatch. Alright, this guy's going. And so literally, I just turned it off and turned it back on. I still gotta wait the roughly 30 seconds again. So remember, beep, then warning, okay, warning, beep, and still gotta wait for another beep. It's got Bluetooth flashing, there you go. So roughly, what, 28 seconds. So roughly 28 seconds, I said 31, so I was a little late to press the button, but, uh, and that's really annoying. So, again, nitpicky, but $400 is 400 bucks. I would like my radio to work right away. And also, if you wait before the second double beep, this won't affect everyone, but I have a smartwatch as we see here. It's connected via Bluetooth. And for some odd reason, if I plug my phone in before that second beep, it kills the Bluetooth connection. And then my watch won't be connected. I'll have to manually reconnect it when I unplug my phone. And if I forget, and then it's just not connected. And that's annoying. And I post about it on Reddit, and it happens to lots of people. So it's not just my phone. Uh, so that part does kind of suck. Uh, and I've showed you some terrible things about Android Auto that aren't great and like it and this is also kind of boring right so and then i have to plug the phone in to get the android auto every single time and that gets old too so again uh these are just a short summary of reasons here again it's very nitpicky i understand that there are reasons why this guy's kind of annoying uh, and mainly i don't want to plug my phone in every time that's a real pain in the butt um Previously, these controls weren't working, but once I reprogrammed them, they worked, and that's pretty good, I guess. And like I said, the, this button is really not much use to me because it's so small. I hardly use it, so uh, that part kind of sucks. All right, so again, if all you have is a basic radio, this is a thousand times better. If uh, you're looking at Android Auto, this one was way cheaper. So I'd either get this one or a JVC one, which I'd put a link to, which I haven't tried, but it doesn't have this, as a bigger screen, so it doesn't have these buttons here. I bought this one for these knobs, but like he's, like I've showed you in two different videos, it's not very helpful because it's so small. All right, so it's kind of a pain. As long as you have steering remote controls, I think I'd rather get the JVC. Although I will say, the Sony sounds great. It really has brought my speakers alive. 
Um, that's the quality of Sony. I assume JPC is similar. I don't know. Um, but it does sound pretty great. And uh, like I said, these wallpapers are kind of lame. They're okay, I guess, but they're it's nothing amazing. I'd rather have the full functionality on. So if you're going to Android Auto or CarPlay, this is one of the cheaper options. This for the JVC. So I would recommend in that case. But if you're able to put in a full Android head unit, like in some of my other videos, I would definitely prefer that. And that's what I'm going back to, either joying or uh, I call it side cans, probably not pronounce it properly, but I'll have more videos of those coming up soon. Uh, all right. So again, uh, better than a regular terrible car radio, uh, a good option for Android Auto, but no comparison to full Android.